I need, I need redemption. Oh, pissing lasagna. Hype pissing lasagna. Because lasagna is quite chunky. And when you have to piss it, it's nasty. No, you'll, you'll, you might understand why I hate lasagna. It's a complicated dish because we're about to do it now. So, pasta, sauce, cheese. Mm, fuck. It's, it's very pernickety. Pasta, sauce, veggie, cheese, ricotta. Pasta, sauce. Cheese, ricotta, pasta sauce, cheese. Good, right, we're fine there. Get the chilli on. So we need some oil, we need some meat, some green peppers and some corn. That should be the chilli sorted. We need the meatloaf, meatloaf, sauce it, bacon wrap it, super. Let's get some baked potatoes. Go on, butter it, yeah. Five, let's get some fries on, sweet potatoes. It's two steaks and a french fry. Dunk it off the pot. There's your thing. Uh, I believe mousse, apple, tiramisu. So that's the classic matte combo. This one's a bit of an awkward one because you've got to do it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you season it, then away he goes. Take that, take that, take that. Three. Don't have to worry about mashing just yet. You load the dishes and then iOS. And that's how you get the fuck out of there. Bloody quick sticks. The beer, as I say, the beer is an awkward one because the beer, if you, do, whoop, no, that's not what I want. I want to put on some wild rice just for the shits and giggles. Um, in this mode, the side dishes don't necessarily. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I know it's probably sad as fuck, but I do have to count out loud for that because otherwise you do too many or too few. It's a nuisance, but there you go. The side dishes in this chef for hire mode don't really make that much difference because you're not, you're kind of not going for tra uh, for money. You're going for the gold medals to unlock everything. Okay, it's all kicking off. Brulee cremes or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. I keep thinking of them as creme brulees, but I'm not 100% sure. In fact, no, I'm not convinced they are. Banana cream? That might be the one. Some, some of these sort of King Lime Pie, get that working, get that away. Moose uh, beef rams too, let's get the washer running. <laughs> get your beer sorted out, sir. Get your one, two, three, four, five, six, season it, off it goes. Get you some, I need some meatloaf, meatloaf sauce, bacon wrap. Six, seven, eight can get the fuck out of my restaurant. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what do you want? Breading. Two. Go. Leave now. Leave now or forever. Fuck your wife. Hmm, that's an interesting phrasing. Why? <laughs> you said that like it might have been considered a bad thing. I don't know. It depends on what your wife looks like. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you judging my wife's appearance? A little bit, yeah, apparently. I didn't know I was going to, but somewhere on the line, I ended up just three, four, five, six, breading. Right, we need another lasagna, which is annoying. So pasta, sauce, veggie, cheese, ricotta, pasta, sauce, cheese, ricotta, pasta, sauce, cheese. Uh, one, no, don't, don't, don't fuck this, please. We got through the first bloody rush hour. You can fucking well do this. You're the best. You're the one. You're the ever-loving restaurant. Yeah. Come on. Uh, two, five, six, one beer. Uh, seven, open up the ice machine. Get the dishes on. Yeah. Get up, get those. Pay attention to the fact that the dishes were finished. So that you can get on with everything else. I'm gonna need a chili, yeah. Uh, corn and onions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bread in for you. Flush the loo. Sanitize my hands. Uh, deal with that. Let's get some more meatloaf on the. Ah, oh, I was not supposed to do bacon wrap that time. 
This is where it's gonna go wrong, gonna go wrong, gonna go wrong. Get the fuck out of my restaurant with that shit. Uh, pour you a beer because it's relatively easy to. Apple B Cram. Apple B Cram. Everybody likes an Apple B Cram. Cheesecake B Cram Key Lime Pie. Seven, eight, three, four, five, six. Spreading off you pop. One, two, three. Moose B Cram. Four, five, six, seven. One beer for you, sir. Two dishes for me, sir. Only two dishes? Why are you running the door? dishwasher? No, there are far more dishes than two, I'm sure. One chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breaded. Boom. Two. Tiramisu times two. Three. Chicken it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season it. Five. Get that chore going. Four. Get that going. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breading. Five. Pour it. Boom. Seven. One. Four. Trash it, mash it. Sanitize it. Eight. Get your chicken on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season it. Three. Two. Chicken it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bread it. Six. Three. Get those running. I need to get a chili on. Four. Let's do that short first, though. I need to get a meatloaf on. That's relatively easy. Get eight going. Now I need to get chili on. If I can get chili on quickly enough. Oil, meat, peppers, corn, onions. That should save that guy from leaving. Because he now knows there's a chili on. Oh fuck, I need a lasagna. I hate lasagna. Pasta, sauce, spinach, cheese, ricotta, pasta, sauce, cheese, ricotta, pasta, sauce, cheese. Three, two, one, four, flush it. Six. No, that was more luck than judgment because I pushed the wrong button. Eight. Pour it. Oh. Day done. Just need to wait for this uh, lady's lasagna at the cook glove. Don't you, Rory? It's just going to be a couple of minutes. Don't you, please? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend wore a shirt like yours? Don't you? I don't know if you had the girlfriend or I had the girlfriend, but we all did a perfect day. <laughs> yes, it is incredibly pleasing when you do a perfect day because the, the music in this game is, gives you such a swell of awesomeness especially i really do hope oh if it's ever gonna happen it's gonna happen now i might unlock a dish and that's the best music ever just a little newspaper stand a little bit there two swans uh, some bird nets st louis 2019 an old slow car, coloured wall, chair, taters in a picture, dog in a picture. All that! La, la, la. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I'm so pleased. A, I got a gold medal proving that I am actually not that bad at this game. And B, I showed off the unlock theme for la, 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 Biscuits and Gravy. I've also apparently unlocked another. Yes, I have. The Ooh Organic. Oh, it's not supposed to be long. And yet you're making it long. And hopefully I'm making it. But I am a sucker for a new restaurant, so we have to have a go. We have to. I have a crack at this restaurant. Okay, so ground chicken salad. Stick on the chicken. Fruit spread. We want cantaloupe, cham, hat, and kiwi. <laughs> was that supposed to be tangerines? Yeah, it was supposed to be tangerines, but I kind of lost. I kind of lost confidence halfway through. <laughs> really, I nice, see. Right. Uh, uh, fuck it. You, you can have a fresh chicken, not in the hot serve, since the hot serve was currently. Uh, unavailable shit in hell wrap it season it uh, and stick it in the oven a uh, pasta do, do I need oil? no I don't think so I think I just need that I don't even know what that dish was but ugh. grilled chicken classic so you want chicken swiss pickles top bun see what I mean about top bun that's been O in this chicken sandwich, and it was O in my 
brisky one. Oh, fuck me. Parmesan, onions, uh, spinach, and pesto. Two for you. Uh, one. We need pasta on. Four. We need pasta oil and shrimp. Okay. Two. A grilled chicken, a tomato, a lettuce, some pickles, and then a top bun. La 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 la. It's got great music as well. I will just point that out as well because I think it is rather good music. It's a very enjoyable peppers. See, some... <laughs> you can tell the ones which sometimes... Oh, but here's an armed robbery. So you low kick him, at, uh, high kick him, and then power punch. <laughs> this is where the game is extremely tongue-in-cheek. Because, you know, you wouldn't expect a regular restaurateur to go around um, dealing with the goat slash ducks. Ugh. You know what it is, but it still makes me go, Ugh. Beef. Uh, feta and lettuce. Three. Let's get your pork loin cut. You want blue. Uh, wrap it, season it. Okay. Two. Another one of them. This pork loin is hmm, not as bad as some, but definitely worse than others. Tuna. Tuna is an N. Nice tuna and N. <laughs> feta and lettuce. Get out of my restaurant. Grilled chicken. Chicken is often K as well. That's... Well, no, there is no one of them. Pickles, top bun. Bam. Grilled chicken, Swiss cheese, pickles, top bun. Bam. Free, get out of my restaurant. Oh, God, it's the big machine. Uh, as you saw, with the lemon... With the lemonade and the pineapple juice, you just end up with a single machine. You just easily go clean it. Away it goes. With the... Just clear those out. Get some more chicken on the grill. Get another fruit spread. Grab them all strawberry kiwi. Two. Let's pork it. Cut it. Traditional is a tea. That's always good to know. Four. Uh, chicken. Tomato, lettuce, bacon, Swiss cheese. Top bun. One. Parmesan, onions, spinach, and pesto. But you've seen spinach, I think, has changed over the course of this playthrough between being S and being N, I believe. And that is where spinach is a pain in my heart. Whole truffle, feta lettuce. <laughs> Some of the things you say whilst playing this game is slightly peculiar and would make people question it if they heard you. <laughs> what are you what are you doing that requires you to do <laughs> fucking best, you know grilled tomato lettuce pickles top bar. What are you doing that requires that sort of thing? Because it, it's oh, it's an unusual game. I, I really enjoy, I played the first one, really enjoyed it, and so I recently picked up the second one, and I've been playing it practically non-stop. Because, as I say, it's just... It's devilishly compelling. Because you just... You know... You can just do it that little bit better each time, unless you get perfect first time. Which I can do on occasions. I can prove my greatness by getting everything right first time and doing really well. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen all the time. Bacon, Swiss, top bun, four, venison, and mostly you can't do it well first time. Often because of the fact that it's a new recipe, so you've got to understand all of the buttons. As, you know, as is not unreasonable. Uh, six, I need to get chicken in. Let's get a hot serve of chicken going. Pork, cut it. Apple is A, you would hope so, wouldn't you? Get your chicken in, because that'll stop you complaining. Salmon, super feta lettuce. Super feta lettuce! <laughs> That's a brand new thing, is it? The super feta lettuce! But as they're, as they're all cooking at the moment, I'm slightly at an advantage. Although they're all going to suddenly stop cooking. And then I'm going to be at a huge disadvantage. But sometimes it is advantageous to let them sort of be a thing. Words, I can't. I'm sorry. I just, I need, I need this. This is one of those games where you need full maximum concentration 
because it's so easy to just push that one wrong button and the whole thing goes to shit and you don't want the whole thing going to shit very nearly fucked that by not putting the shrimp in put the oil in but it didn't put the shrimp in ba -ba -da -da. the most as i say the easiest ones to remember end up being truffle feta lettuce have you truffled your feta lettuce Raw shrimp olives is usually v olives is v tomato sauce boom 41 is low, which suggests no perfect day. But that perfect day, that is how good I am. <laughs> uh, lovely decorative stool, uh, another painting, city by the bay, but nothing, nothing else particularly spectacular. So <laughs> I will, I will leave you there, having experienced a little bit of cook, sir. Delicious! Can we get back to the menu so we can get the song? No! No! Why do you deny me the song? But I, I suppose I'll tell you one other thing. We'll just have a look at. I know you keep saying this, but I've got a lot of emails to catch up on, but a lot of these emails are quite entertaining. So, memo from the CEO. Hello, underlings. I know it's the weekend, but can't you please work any faster? Seriously, it's like turning the air conditioning off and opening all the windows has done nothing to motivate you people. Maybe it will help if you try thinking about how much you're letting your families down right now by not being at home, because it really is quite sad to think of them slowly realising that you don't actually love them. I know for a fact that it's Brenda's son's birthday today, so if you have all trouble getting your projects done, maybe hand some of them off to her, because I'd be willing to bet dollars to donuts that she's more motivated than the rest of you to get out of here. Anyway, stop emailing me, trying to enjoy my weekend, in the Bahamas. <laughs> Wishing you all my best. Robert Overling, CEO. So I, some of these, I think, are kind of based on the idea of it being the game developer, because there's some companies here that are sort of based on this idea of, oh, we're building a game. So it's an entertaining sort of thing. Then you get these naps lot. Here we go. Army fatigues of questionable allegiance. <laughs> Generously donated by uh, Utah Widow after the Blue War of 2025. I don't know when this is meant to be set, but apparently post-2025. <laughs> this style of army fatigues is notable for having been worn by both sides of the conflict as a psychological warfare tactic to make the lines dividing each army blurred. To this day, many bodies have yet to have their loyalties verified, making proper ritualistic burial difficult. But that gives me another wall art, and there are several others that I've had in the past. I don't know if I can access some v vintage video game controllers, so you can see that's my PlayStation ones. Found in the rubble of San Francisco, California, these controllers were once the only way to play and enjoy video games of the time, before neural controllers became the norm. Those games included Darkest Hour, Mad Coin Collect, Driving Country, and of course, Mystical Mandigo, Mandingo, and the Ooze Rats. I have no idea if they exist. It is quite possible that they exist as games developed by this company. I'm not entirely sure who it was. I'm sorry, company of Cook, Serve, Delicious. I love your game. I'm just, you know, useless. Uh, let's have a look at the food catalogue, because look, you can see here, you've got a shitload of stuff here. You can just buy, purchase any of these you like, so you can improve your restaurant stuff. But look, that's like a sesame prawn type. Oh no, sopa pillars. Or sopa pillas, probably. Sopa pillas. I, I thought they were prawn types, but no. No, they're not. And the other thing, I suppose, let's grab tacos. Here you can see the benefits and negatives of each dish so you can build your menu to perhaps maximize each thing so stacked pricey for customers great for those who want to pay premium uh, staple food so it never suffers from menu rot which means it will always create buzz for your restaurant late night munchies so they tend to be increased buzz five percent after 7 p.m but then this one rats love it so you're going to have more rat traps to deal with trash you have to do the bins more often roach you have to do the roaches more often this food has more than 15 recipes available or is a custom order that has hundreds of possible recipe combinations fuck me and complex bits i don't like that idea but i'll tell you what we'll have a practice of these so meat and oil in your pot meat and oil in your pot three meat and oil oh that's well i've already fucked number three because i thought they were all going to be the same this food has more than 15 recipes available or is a custom order that has hundreds of possible recipe combinations fuck me fuck me but no chicken oil so one we put in our meat then we put in some kezor some rice some black beans would be a 
some lettuce, some zella, and our corn side. Jesus Christ, these are sour cream, rice, tomato, onions, and a red salsa. Oh, I, I just burnt one. So, <laughs> I think your kitchen can set on fire if you burn enough things. Now, it's rare I'm going to come out of that practice because that was troublesome <laughs> and difficult. But I, I've never actually experienced the whole burning down the restaurant and having to put out a fire. It's in the tutorial. You can see there, pizzas, whole cakes. Oops. Don't know where... Ah, there's whole cakes. Different array of coffees and frappuccinos and lattes. Enchiladas. Uh, oh, God, I only knows. Tapos is this cara. I'm still none the wiser, but it's clearly some form of squiddy thing. A tapafis discara. Don't like the look of it. I don't like the sound of it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a fascinating game. I, I would recommend it mostly because I really fucking enjoy it. The wines are actually mildly interesting because you, you end up going, pick a wine, the Deckard, and then you uncork it. It's really simple, but it is quite interesting that you have to pick it, cork it. Pick it, cork it. Or uncork it, sorry. Because you don't want cork wine. For Deckard, uncork it. And you, you just, you hit the keys. That's why it's easier with a keyboard. Because if I choose one of these, I don't know if this is going to work out the way I want it to, but fuck it. We'll see. Uh, no, maybe not. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, I have to push start. So let's try and find. I don't like doing pies. So we'll do practice mode of this pie. So now... What you're actually having to do is up and down, which makes it a lot more difficult. Then you have to hold the left trigger for one side of the thing. So I've got to do crust, potato, uh, oh, asparagus is on the right hand side. And then we have to push B to get to the next hand side so we can do spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, egg batter, mozzarella, and cook it. And then you can. I can't deny it. the hot serve bits, I feel are slightly easier, but that is one control out of all of the controls. But yeah, it's it's not easy. It's not easy to do. Oh, okay. Apparently I'm stuck in the hot serve. I didn't mean to get stuck in the hot serve. But yeah, you gotta do crust. I mean, see how much slower I am because I'm actually having to, now I don't know necessarily know the logic of the controller i'm having to keep looking at what buttons i need to push and it it's a bastard it is a bastard i'm back on the keyboard because it is vastly quicker although i can't seem to exit okay by back on the keyboard i <laughs> ah enter there we go just look at the bottom and you get all the information you need so there's shit tons of recipes available for you to do. You can build your own restaurant, literally your own restaurant, as I as I demonstrated with my Christmas themed restaurant. And you buy the recipes, you buy that, and you can even do co-op mode. I've no idea how that works or what that does. But for now, I will wish you a very merry, a happy Adventy thing. <laughs> enjoy this advent calendar it's fucking stupid really but nonetheless enjoy it and i will say and cheerio